Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I am so glad that I can finally welcome you to the end of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Complete with my team of legendaries and shinies, it is time to take on the world at large because we still have a couple more things to do, including a buttload of outbreaks here. Holy good god. Well, the one I was looking for was a massive mass outbreak in the field lens so that we can find ourselves a new slew of legendaries to catch. On top of that, we also need to fill out their research level to level 10. It is actually ridiculous and insane and I really don't like it. But keep in mind, we're also going to have to head to the Cobalt Coastlands as well as the Alabaster Icelands in order to complete this task set out for us by Kogita. And in doing this, we will then be led to the deified Pokemon Arceus itself, which means there's going to be quite a bit of editing in this part, so uh, I'll try to make it go as fast and as uh, unencumbered as possible. But starting us off, oof, there are a bunch of chatted down there. I was like, what the damn are those things? Uh, we're not going to focus on that because only, I guess you don't need a massive outbreak for uh, Landorus here. But here on Rominus is where we find this guy. And in order to catch him, we gotta throw some uh, of these lovely sticky globs at it. But he normally attacks, which is insane. Uh, and the music gets pretty awesome too. So let's do it, let's start. Ugh. And there you go, just wait until he's dizzy. He's gonna do that, it, it's sticky glob literally <laughs> bounced off of him. Okay, so you have to watch out for his little cyclones. Just keep getting them, Ugh. come on. Oh man. He takes quite a few, so make sure you're nice and stocked up. I think you could also use other things, but there we go. Break it three times. I'm going to send out Shinsekai. Here we go. So, Landris is very interesting in the fact that it is a ground flying type. And in order to take him out, we're going to need to weaken just a spell. And uh, I'm hoping a regular water pulse is good, but we'll just go with the light agile style just to start us off. And again, just like any other legendary, if they faint, you can just leave and come back, but... Not bad, not bad. Uh, that is actually a little bit mm, worse than I thought, so we'll do it one more time with Dark Pulse. Uh, this time, not getting the super effective. And then we'll try a good old fashioned Ultra Ball. Ah, ooh. All right, so Sand, Steer, St Sand Seer Storm, oof, it can burn you. It's such a cool move being a ground type, but let's go ahead and uh, throw one of these over there. And if Shinsekai fails, then uh, that's fine. So let's do it. Show me something good. That, 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 that. First try. Very nice. There we have it. Okay, so Landorus being the only one that exists here, not bad. I might run around and check some of these other locations just to see if we can find anything interesting. But otherwise, we are going to need stormy conditions in order to find Thunderous as well as... What is the last one? Is it just Tornadus? That's kind of a silly name. Hello, Chadit. You guys aren't going to have anything interesting for me now, are you? Nah. So, uh, I'll meet you guys at the site of the next legendary. <laughs> All right, well, I figured since we had to come to the Cobalt Coastlands anyway, we'd go ahead and use this as an opportunity to tow off with the head of the Diamond Clan himself on a 1v3 fair as all hell battle against the almighty Dialga in its origin form, and I'm really excited for this. So, as you know, Dialga needs to be the only Pokemon in your party in order for this to work, and it needs to have been subjected to the Adamant Crystal. So let's go ahead and transform. <laughs> and keep in mind, you can switch between whichever form you'd want at any point, but why in the hell would you ever take this imposing figure and decide, you know what, I like the other one better? Yeah, this thing is a work of art. It's beautiful. I don't think Adamant knows exactly what he signed up for. <laughs> Mighty Dialga gave us all the gift of time, and you want to see its real power? Here, by the ocean? Let's do it. But be careful what you wish for. Let me stand before you as leader of the Diamond Clan to find out in battle what I'm really made of. Oh, Adamant, you poor sweet summer child. I don't think you have any idea about the ass whooping you are about to receive on your front doorstep here at the hands of Dialga. On top of that, since the last time we battled 
you haven't even raised your Pokemon one bit. And you know what? I was going to say there is time to reconsider, but that is a pun that is too good to waste. So, Leafeon, I'm sorry, but you bear the brunt of this man's responsibility. Oh, 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 that poor Leafeon. That's what you get for having a terrible shiny. Uh, and now <laughs> death by way of a thousand quick attacks. Look at that. Sheesh. I guess being a steel dragon type does kind of have its perks, but ah, there we go. Big guns. Way to go, Umbreon. I'm proud of you. Meanwhile, Aqua Tail. Not bad. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the old, uh, yeah, we'll go Umbreon first. And being the special tank it is, I am probably just going to go and smack it with my tail. There we go. Strong style is completely unnecessary, but I find myself missing that move more often than not. And now Vaporeon. Ooh, looks like we're getting some agile moves here. Baby doll eyes. Finally, somebody does it. <laughs> somebody put some rubber on this man's fists. And there we go. That's the miss I'm talking about. So we have two moves that we can use here. I might go for another roar of time just because it looks super neat. Let's do it. Man. Oh, and it survived. Oh, Vaporeon, the goat. Oh, man. Well done. Okay, you know what? Good for you. I did not think that was going to live. Ha! Huh, wow. All right, maybe my special attack isn't as good as I thought it was. All right. Well, there we have it. Dialga has shown this man who's boss. And we also showed him the front door. Good thing we can bury him out to sea. It's too much to comprehend. I'm still shaking even now. I would be too. But he finally understands the will of Dialga. When you battle all out with someone, you really understand them. Almost like Coitus. Imagine if everyone in Hisui partnered up with Pokemon to express themselves through battle. Living here would be even more fun. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I have a feeling Adamant would be like a crypto bro in today's modern age. Yeah, so uh, he's going to have his clan start uh, training up on Jubilife. And you can definitely plan on not seeing us there. Don't you worry about it. So he gives us a leaf stone and an EXP candy, which eh, is fine, I guess. But let's get out of here because there is one more order of business to do. And oof, that is a big, scary monster. We're going to head over here to the Coastlands camp and rest until there's a thunderstorm. And this actually sounds a little promising, actually. So in case you really want to be sure, you have to look at the little symbol right next to the Cobalt Coastlands text up there. And if there's a thunderbolt, that means we're in the clear. So with my new party that I just went ahead and switched out, uh, let's go ahead and make our way over to the throng of Gyarados that all live here. Because hiding amongst them only during a storm like this is thunderous an electric flying type that is very annoying to get going here so we'll try some of that break its shield i think as long as we just break his shield three times that's all we have to do but as you'll notice gyarados actually gets really annoying so just go oh you're gonna move aren't you yep all right there's gonna be a lot of wasted sticky globs here as well as phantom camera controls but usually when he's doing that that is your best shot to do that so yeah, let's see if the three breakings of the barriers is enough to do us in here. So, yeah, he's just going to zip around like a madman. And with that, ooh, nice. Well done. All right, let's try it one more time. I should have brought uh, a better Pokemon. We'll go with Palkia. Why not? And something interesting that happened. So, when I went to turn in my research tests for Landorus, uh, it was counted as a backstrike for catching this thing. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. But uh, electric flying type, not going to take any of that damage. I'm going to go with one of these. Be very careful. Also, notice how Palkia is actually floating <laughs> over the water. That's kind of cool. Now, this does make me a little nervous, actually, this uh, Dragon Claw business. So, one more. Oh, oh. oh, very nice. And now I get thundered. Cool. I probably shouldn't have sent out the water <laughs> legendary to go out, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and throw another one of, whoops, another one of these over here. And come on, Thunderous. Get in there, man. Oof. Come on. Come on. Wow. Two. Two of these legendaries in the first ball. 
that is like really good luck. Sheesh. Okay. Well, with that having been said and done, uh, it is now time for us to head to the Alabaster Icelands, and only during a blizzard will we be able to find Tornadus, but it's actually extremely easy to find them there. So, uh, I will meet you there on the eve of a blistering storm. How's that sound? Ooh, I like the sound of that. And despite the fact that we actually wake up completely frozen to the bone, we have ourselves a certified blizzard. Just make sure that symbol next to Alabaster Icelands is not a singular snowflake, otherwise you're not going to be able to find our third legendary we were sent out to find by the name of Tornadus, a pure flying type Pokemon that is kind of a pain in the ass to take care of out here, especially with all of the Glalie that are nearby. So let's hope that we actually get a little bit lucky and we don't get harassed too much and there it is this would be a little bit easier I think if we had a mass outbreak here because then you wouldn't have to deal with Glalie but I think I might actually end up sending out let's go with Shin Sakai why not and we'll go carefully and hit him three times with sticky globs you know the drill so uh, again my advice is really just to wait for him to send off these hurricanes and toss oh but you dodged that like a maverick well done. Ew. Yeah, got him through the <laughs> the storms, and I'm just going to be accosted every what way, aren't I? All right. There you go, Victoria. Enjoy. I'm going to get tackled, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> oh, and there's that. So, yeah, lots of uh, running on and off weird gear here, but just wait for the hurricanes and then throw. Because the second I drop, I'm probably, yeah, going to scare them away. All right. So, you know I'm here. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, I definitely need to get a back attack. Move! Move, you fool! Oh my god. Ah, my right bumper doing the thing again. Okay. Well, this was a mistake. <laughs> Having a mass outbreak here would have been far easier to deal with. Oh, and you missed! Mr. Cruz, what are you thinking? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get behind him and strike. Okay. Now, uh, this... Samurai does not know Ice Beam, so we're gonna be a little bit safe as far as everything else is concerned. So let's go with the Dark Poles. And Tornadus. Nice. Okay. I'm glad I didn't do the light strike there. And yeah, why not? We'll mix it up a little bit. There you go. And red again. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Hurricane? There it is. Look at this. Oh. That is a pretty cool move. I really like what they do uh, with these Pokemon. Uh, but now, he's actually being smart and killing me. Hey, what what gives, man? That was a very nice. Shin Sakai, I'm so sorry you had to fall to that. All right, Tornadus, or Thunderous, rather. <laughs> Meet your friend and maker. He's like, you gotta come to this side, dude. It is freaking badass. Okay, so let's go with another Ultra Ball and try to get, you know, the three fur. If we will. Come on. I suffered too much not to get this on the first try. Thank you. Oh. Wow. We did so great. And the blizzard just ended. So, with that having been said and done, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shin Sakai. Oh my god. Get out of there. Um, I will meet you guys at the ancient retreat to speak to Madame Kogita. However, keep in mind, you do need to complete their research levels to at least 10 which is kind of annoying. So, time to do that with Thunderous, or Tornadus, rather. Why do I keep getting their names messed up? I'll meet you guys there in just a minute. How's it going, Avalog? You got a shiny around here for me? <laughs> oh, and it's still weak. What do you know? And so, ladies and gentlemen, upon assembling the incarnate forces of Hisui and completing their research tasks to at least level 10, we return to the ancient retreat and let Kogita know exactly what we've learned about these Pokemon. <sighs> you know now much about Landorus, Tornadus, and even Thunderous. Well done. <sighs> In more normal times, I would bid you let those three fly free as is their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift until its after effects fade entirely. Perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained at which point, there's one more. You can't possibly mean there is one more cohort. And it comes in the form 
of Enamorous. Oh, sweet mother of God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Enamorous is hailed as the Herald of Spring. Now, Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex. Yeah, why not? Which leads us to our final area that we need to investigate the Crimson Mirelands. And this is also where we're going to find Irida and complete, you know, the Palkia side of that ass whooping. So I will meet you guys at the Diamond Settlement in just a moment. And upon returning here with only Palkia in tow, I think it's night time for us to expose her to our shiny balls. Lustrous Globe, go! Oh, it's beautiful! This Palkia is a thing of absolute beauty. Ah, oh, the shiver that has been sent down my spine is obscene. Although it is kind of weird that it looks like it should have arms. But no, I'm sorry, that fits perfectly. How's it going, Irida? Kind of weird that you're here at the diamond camp, but you know, I guess we'll deal with it. I felt your presence nearby while I was playing my flute earlier. Yeah, I could hear her from all the way across the bog. But she came to play for the diamond clan so they can hear melodies that her clan holds so dear. Which is nice, like that's cute. I don't know. <gasps> oh, but seeing you, I've learned more about the lustrous globe. You don't say. So it transforms Mighty Palkia into its otherworldly form, if you can believe that. Well, I just did it literally in front of your face, so don't know what to tell you. But now she wants to battle this Mighty Palkia, because of course humans will always resort to violence. <laughs> that is the only thing that will satisfy their bloodlust. So she wants to get on top of that as soon as possible. So here it is Wish in the books. Let's do it. She wants to know uh, Mighty Palkia's power firsthand. The power that brought space itself into being. You got it, sweetheart. Let's do it. And once again, <laughs> you have no idea about the reckoning you are about to receive here by almighty Zeno. All right, so once again, we are going to be uh, confronted against a thruple that has absolutely no business sending itself out in front of me. And being a water dragon type, not the best typing uh, for this particular scenario, but I, I think I'll go with the good old fashioned spatial rend. Glaceon must be taught a lesson. Oof! Oh my goodness, and a critical. Oh my god, the poor Glaceon. All you had to do was have a pretty neat shiny, you know? Oh my god, is this just gonna be a repeat of last time? It literally is gonna be the same thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we have Espeon, we have Flareon. I think we ought to take care of that here pretty soon. Gee, I wonder which one I go with. How about some overkill? <laughs> nah, that's all right. Don't need it. <laughs> oh, these poor souls, man. They don't stand a ghost of a chance. All right, Espeon, listen. I love you to death and all, but holy good God, this was a mistake. Oh, I don't even know which to do. Let's go Dragon Claw. Here we go. Oof, with the full power of the hooves. Just the poor Espeon. I am sorry. Not even she could hold on. But there we have it. We have completed the wishes of both clans and of their leaders. And uh, now we're done with that. So, hooray! The sheer power of mighty Palkia. It's as unfathomably fast as Spates itself. Wow. I almost stumbled really bad over that. But that was incredible. Wait. Must have been the Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh. Who the hell is Almin? Oh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, looks like the Pearl Clans leader can really hold her own in battle too. Oh, this was all a setup, wasn't it? Because they didn't, <laughs> they had to witness that. Uh, they praised mighty Palkia. Heretics, non-believers, they're going to be shunned out of their village and their homes and families will disown them. Uh, well, she must take the spirit of respecting and cherishing one another and spread it throughout Vasasui. And she'll do it by the most violent methods available. <laughs> and she's decided on behalf of the entire Pearl Clan that they too will bring their battles to Jubilife Village and its training grounds. And there we have it, an Ice Stone and an XL Experience Candy. Hooray for that! Now, it's time to seek out 
enamorous. And what we can do is start by heading to Bogbound Camp and maybe changing up the party. And because it's raining, uh, I'm hoping that Enamorous will actually show up because it's not technically storming, but in the Crimson Mirelands, who freaking knows, you know? You know? So, uh, yeah, if we're lucky and this works, then obviously you're going to be seeing this. But Enamorous has a tendency to sort of troll uh, some of the Pokemon here, and I hear the music. I heard the music. Where is it? Was it on screen and I just didn't see it? There it is, okay. Well, uh, this one's a little bit more annoying in the fact that we are surrounded by swamp that you can't dive through, but if you get hit by any of the storms it throws at you, you are unfortunately going to find yourself uh, with reversed controls and it's extremely annoying. So if you can stop harassing all of these Pokemon, that'd be great. Let's go with number one. Ugh. Also, every single Pokemon here is aggro as all hell. All right, come on, there you go, there you go. Ugh. And, oh, what a dive, once again. Eh. There, I think I hit it. Maybe. I, I feel like that probably missed. Here, let's switch back to, yeah, weird ear. Ugh, damn it. Try to get in there, man. Eesh. And it's gonna run. Oh yes, there it is. So, Enamorous is a fairy flying type, so I think, what the, no, why would you do that? Let's do this. Okay, and then we wait. Sneasler coming in one more time before the end. Uh, I have my regular team here, so I'm hoping that we don't completely overpower it, but I might just lead with Togi just to be on the safe side. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Oof, here we go, reverse controls. All right, how dare you get over here. Oh, it ran out. Yeah, I wish I had better throwing arms. Yeah, I probably should just switch a bunch to Weird Ear. Because look at it, he's just going crazy. Or rather, she, according to Kogita. All right, so what the, why? Why would you aim at that? This is why I don't use the lock on, because you do the most ridiculous, like, targets. Doesn't even make any sense. All right, there we go. Not quite, but uh, why can't I just rapid fire this, you know? All right, listen here, Enamorous. Me and you, we got beef. There it is, and you can thank Kogita for that. Ugh. Okay, you know, I could have maybe just thrown a ball at it, but I have always just gotten into battles because I feel like it's a little easier. Okay, let's start with a mystical fire. We're not gonna get hurt, and it's not gonna do a lot. There we go, offensive stats lowered. Uh, and because that happened to work, let's go with an air slash. There you go. Togi coming in clutch, woof, by the skin of its teeth. Ooh, that is such a cool move. It's like the two top tier fairy types of the game going one on one with each other. That is obscene. All right, come on. Can fourth time also be the charm? Please, oh please. Can luck be a lady with a mustache tonight? Damn it. Of course not. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> All right, well this is helping get its uh, research task up, so that's nice. Offensive stats return to normal, cool. Good for you. All right, will the second try. Man, we had like a six legendary spree in a row of first time ball catches and now it's ruined thanks to the final Pokemon we have collected. There we go. Enamorous is complete. Also, we're gonna get wrecked over here. Get out of there, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go finish this stuff up. Let's see. Enamorous, all the way up in the E's. There we go. I am a fan of the E's, you know. And Spring Tide and Extra Century, as you would expect, they're all Agile style moves. And uh, with that being said and done, we will have collected every single Pokemon in the game. So I will meet you guys back at Galaxy Hall in just a moment. Or wherever the hell we have to go. <laughs> I already forgot. Oh, what's this? A completed Pokedex at last. Though in a way, you could almost call this an Ellison Dex. <laughs> oh, Laventon, you always were a kidder, my friend. And of course, you had your directive, didn't you? I recall the message you received when you first fell down to this land. Wait, how did you figure that out? Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seems you finally achieved that goal, even though there's no possible way we could ever verify that in such a finite, absolute statement. 
Now, there's only one place left for us to go, and that's the top of Mount Coronet, into the ruins of what was once the Temple of Sinnoh. You'll find nowhere else in all of Isui closer to the heavens, nor more wretched hive of scum and villainy. <sighs> what will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling, but... Well, this isn't my tale of adventure, it's yours, and my arms are crossed in a state of defiance. He's a little upset, but hey, he's happy for us, and that's all he can ask for. Thank you, man. You've been a good mentor, a leader, even though I've never seen you without that freaking hat on. It would be cool if I could get that hat, you know? Anyways, I have my duty, and his is to read through the Pokedex. Well done. Congratulations. Let's get the heck out of here. And I'm actually going to meet you guys at the Ancient Retreat. So that we can meet back up with Kogita. And once we find ourselves here, after completing Enamorous' research level to at least 10, we can approach her and finally complete this long-ass winded mission. Ah, I know very much about this Enamorous. I got smooched on a couple of times. But Enamorous arrives in Hisui once winter has passed, hence the epithet, Herald of Spring. Very nice. Her company, when I have the pleasure, is of great help. She ferries me hither and yawn across Hisui. Okay, Shakespeare. But, yeah, you'll leave her in our care for now. <laughs> for now? Yeah, what does that mean? You, you plan on getting this Pokemon back? Even you can hardly expect to live for all time, surely. But she will be in your care until you die. Here, this is the Reveal Glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. Very cool. I did not know that. So, it's a mysterious mirror that returns certain Pokemon to their true shape. Which makes sense because, as of now, they do have very specific forms. And I think it's just incarnate forms, right? Yeah. But we all tend to stir the pot of life. Do not mistake me. I mean this positively. If everything were straightforward, what meaning would there be in living as long as we do? I don't know. I'm glad you saved all these existential questions for the end of the game, though. Hmm. How, how was that the, how that old verse went? Oh boy. I have passed on to you all there is to pass. Where history goes from here, I leave to you and your companions to see through. Well, thanks for all the candy, ma'am. But it's not Halloween and I'm not dressed up. So, as it stands, we are entering completely new and unexplored territory for me, and so we're gonna head to the top of Mount Sinnoh. All I know about this encounter is that it's another one involving bombs. So we'll see how that goes, but as it stands, here are the ride Pokemon that helped us in our journey thus far. And I decided, you know, maybe it was probably as good a time as any to sort of show off everyone who's helped us and get this far as well as Kazumasa. So, this has been quite the lovely ride, even if at times I've maybe seemed kind of annoyed. This game is a little annoying, but I wouldn't be here without these fine folks. So, without further ado, I will meet you guys at the Temple of Sinnoh so we can finish the game. Damn, you guys are loud. And so... After stepping through the stone portal for the last time, we find ourselves making the trek up to our destiny, where we are bound to confront the one and only titular Pokemon itself, Arceus. Again, I have no idea what to expect here, other than a pretty vivacious battle, and I'm really looking forward to it, because uh, it is night time for us to put a leaf in this book. So without further ado, let's play the Azure Flute.
Um, well, suffice it to say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. I cannot believe that I managed to get through that on my first try and only getting hit once with the move that he spammed like eight times. So I think this is probably where we're going to end the project for good. For the most part, I did have a really good time playing this, even the end game, although the whole massive mass outbreaks needing to go to each region to explore them was a little time consuming and sort of turned me off to everything. But um, if there's more DLC for this, or if there is, I guess, some demand for, you know, some of these other uh, Path of Solitude, as well as the Path of Tenacity, which I didn't really talk about because it is like uh, a side mode all its own. Basically, it's just a gauntlet where you beat through challenges and it is a bit of a pain in the ass but if there is for some reason any demand for that I think I'll probably end up coming back at some point because this cannot be where this game ends I feel like there's got to be like you know an island or like a new region with different variants and more Pokemon they can add in there are only 242 in this game and like I had mentioned at some point in the past uh yeah, there are two more that we still need to get, but you do need save files from either Sword and Shield in order to obtain Darkrai or uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You need a save file from one of those games so you can get Shaman. And I didn't really feel like doing that, but unfortunately you do need those two and complete every single task to at least, or at least every Pokemon to at least level 10. And I've done that off screen, except for, obviously, Arceus. So, yeah, I still feel like there is a fair bit of things left for us still to do. And I guess that's all we had to do for that. Received a part of Arceus. Interesting. I was under the impression we had to get into a battle with it because it will use plates and change colors depending on whatever weakness your Pokemon is. So maybe I'll go back and refight, see if there's something I can do about that. But, you know, I'll, I'll go through it. Not bad. Okay. Could it be? We finally did it! At long last, the Pokedex is well and truly complete. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I started studying Pokemon. I don't believe I'll be able to thank you enough for making my dream a reality, which is why we didn't give you a cutscene, just more generic animations. Yes, everyone will be overjoyed to hear of the Pokedex completion. Do let me know when you're ready, my boy. I'll be waiting for you in my lab. Wait a minute! Do I not need Shaman and or Darkrai? Because I was thinking about, you know, maybe just buying them from uh, Amazon and then <laughs> getting a quick save in and then sending them back. But yeah, it's actually, they've been $30 lately, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but I still probably wouldn't have time to play them. Uh, this is new. Oh, right. This is where we can obtain... Right, the Eternal Reverie. I come that that is what I was thinking of, not the path of tenacity. Okay. Let's actually take a look at this first and foremost because I'm very curious. We step inside and when you go to bed, uh you're going to be hounded by spam calls. Man, what a sorry looking bed that doesn't look comfortable at all. Well, if we decide to go rest instead, uh Actually, I'll stay up. No, let me. Let's let's sleep. Let's let's go to evening. And I'll be visited in my dreams. It seems. Oh, this is awkward. Welcome to the Eternal Battle Reverie. I bestow upon thee this test of skill and luck, that thou may try thy mettle in battle. God, I really hate this type of speak. <laughs> well, battle number one is upon thee. What wouldst thou do? So we can pick between a variety of challenges. Some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. Spear and Shield, for example, would be uh, Bastiodon and Rapardos. Strange Shaped, I'm not entirely sure. Steel type, I never got into this, mostly because I've never even caught Arceus before. So 
will leave and uh, we will be able to do this at some point in the future. There are, I think, 99 levels or something absolutely insane. And if you beat it, you get absolutely nothing except a little stamp on your little gamer tag. And uh, oof, that was an awful nightmare. More Pokemon Legends Arceus with very little payoff? Well, at least there's no plot involved. <laughs> and that could prove to be like a fun little time sink, I guess, but not anything I am particularly interested in. Um, I would like to speak to Anth just in case. Yeah, she does have new styles in stock. So I think I went and took a look at her stuff, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was like an Arceus sort of uh, outfit here for us, which would be kind of cool. But again, it doesn't denote it in any capacity. It would be nice, because you got Regigigas, you got Giratina, and it seems like, no, no new shirts or anything. Maybe there's a new outfit? No. Man, oh, Sinnoh outfit, there we go. There is something new here for us. That is pretty cool. So this is what Vola was wearing. Very nice, this definitely wasn't here before. At least I don't think it was. <laughs> I really hope not. It's unfortunate you can't change the pants though. Okay, well, this whole game I've been rocking either Amethyst or Indigo or Crimson or Dark Slate. So, I guess with the green pants, it's hard to say. All of these clash like nobody's business. Um, you know, let's just go with the Indigo. There we are. Yeah. Now, do I get some Bootsies to go along with that? Maybe. It'd be nice if I did. Ninja Footwear. Maybe not. I feel like... Oh, Sinnoh Sandals. Interesting. Ah, oh, my feet! Ah! I wish I could just go barefoot, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, we'll wear those just because they're so damn expensive. Yeah, more of these. Chartreuse? Gold. Interesting, that's cool. I am 90% certain that you don't get that until now, because I feel like I did check all that stuff. Do I get anything cool? Nothing. Nothing at all. See, I really wish the game would give us, uh... Professor Laventon's hat. That'd be kind of cool. No new masks. Man, what an utter disappointment, you know? Ninja mask, brimmed hat, and that's it. Damn. All right, well, let's get out of here. We're going to speak with Laventon one last time, because if I'm lucky, he might give me an extra 1% chance to catch a shiny. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I love one of those, so. Oof, man, it is. this is a weird end to the project. I was not expecting it. But knowing my luck, by the time you guys see this in, what, maybe July, I think, uh, chances are that uh, maybe there'll be DLC or something. Who knows? All right, Laventon, I'll crack on with the big announcement then, shall I? Smashing. What do you got for me, buddy? <gasps> oh, this is so nice. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for gathering here at my behest. We have some rather special news to share, so please lend us your ears if you'd be so kind. Today marks the fulfillment of a long-held dream of mine and the fruition of the most earnest efforts of the entire Survey Corps. Yes indeed, for you see, the Pokedex, our Corps' magnum opus, is finally, at long last, COMPLETE! Is that true? <gasps> This fantastic achievement wouldn't have been possible if not for the hard work, no, the heroic efforts of our own Mr. Cruz. From his quelling of the frenzied Lord Cleaver all the way up to his battles against Dialga and Palgia atop mighty Mount Coronet, he tirelessly surveyed the Pokémon of this land while facing perils of the sort that would send most of us running for the hills. All this has led to our accomplishing what can only be described as a remarkable triumph of human effort, the completion of a Pokedex. Hmm, so Mr. Cruz, you're still very much a mysterious figure who fell from the sky. And I know not whether your actions were motivated by your own curiosity or a genuine desire to help the people of our village, but it doesn't matter. You have been a great asset to us and I am truly grateful for everything you've done. Perhaps I should also study under the professor, so I might learn more about Pokemon. Silene is quite capable of handling the duties of commander, I'm sure. <laughs> wow, did she just get a promotion? Commendable work. In recognition of your effort, I present you with this shiny charm. Hooray! 
a charm that shines with a mysterious light. It is said to increase the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild. Ah, today's potato mochi are my treat. I'll make them extra tasty. Don't worry, I'll take the rat poison out of them this time. Yesterday was incredible, wasn't it? Everyone was so thrilled with our work. But I don't believe our Pokemon surveying work ends here. I'd like to try my hand at developing new crafting recipes and techniques too. Wherever our research takes us, I look forward to sharing our discoveries together. Damn straight. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude our time here in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I will say that as far as things are concerned, you can still keep playing the game, finding shinies and doing all that fun stuff. But for the most part, I think everything I wanted to say has more or less already been said during the credits and I still mostly firmly hold that to be true and consistent. Uh, this guy actually I talked to before but I reloaded the save but he is very weird because he is nameless and he is only here to serve us as, uh, as nothing really. I remember spending my nights at the handful of huts that were scattered across Prelude Beach as I gathered medicinal leaks and the like, all while running from wild Pokemon. And uh, seeing as how I've completed the Pokedex, everyone was terrified. If only there were more people like you and we could all live together peacefully with Pokemon. What a glorious day that'd be. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I've been rambling. He's a traveling doctor and he will give us one full restore. Thank you. The one full restore that will never be used. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this game and if for some reason you've made it this far and you have not yet yourself tried it, um, I'd highly suggest it. Although I would probably wait until it's a little bit cheaper. 60 bucks at launch was kind of a hard sell, but I had some pretty uh, severe FOMO and it was, a, it was a good time. I'm glad I bought into it and I'm glad I recorded it at the end of the day, even if it did take me almost 200 hours to finish this project. But most of that, you know, I wasn't even present. So. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I take my leave. Join me next time on whatever adventure we have coming up next, which at this point I have absolutely no idea, but I have about 30 episodes or so that I need to get to editing. So take care as always, and I will see you here in Hisui if the Nintendo and Game Freak gods allow it. See you guys then. Yeah.